good. Uh, just have to ask you kind of what we asked us. Cesar, what's it mean to, you know, move to a team that's in contention, not just for a division title, but possibly a World Series title? And now, you know, Kate, Craig Kimbrough, who you worked with. Yeah, absolutely. Joining you over here. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, you know, I think once you get older and play this game for a long time and get towards, uh, you know, a longer career, you – you really want to win and uh, coming here, you know, obviously to a great team in first place and a great chance to, you know, make the playoffs and make a run. Uh, you know, that's what I want to be a part of. So I'm super excited. I know we're talking to you about this, but I mean, well, how would you describe Kimbrell's work this year? I, I mean, he's barely given up any hits, let alone runs, it seems like. Yeah, he's been unbelievable. It's been fun to watch, uh, you know, with me and Chafin kind of setting it up for him. And, you know, he uh, went out and did his job and just, uh, I think he's, better than he ever has been possibly. And it's been cool to see. And, you know, his worth ethic, worth ethic, uh, ethics is unbelievable, you know. And um, it's fun to watch him, you know, in the weight room and on the field and just the way he goes about his business. Vinny? Ryan, how would you kind of uh, evaluate the back end of this White Sox bullpen now that it uh, includes you and Kimbrell along with Hendricks, Kopech, and, and some of the other talented arms out there? Yeah, I mean, uh, you can pretty much run any guy out there in, in any inning and, uh, you know, you're going to have success. It's going to be a, a fun spot to kind of see what our roles are and, and how it all plays out. Uh, but definitely, uh, you know, I feel like we're loaded. The, the bullpen in general has kind of played such a big role for, for playoff teams the last few years. And how do you kind of see you guys as kind of being able to fare now that you've got such kind of what you call a loaded bullpen there? Yeah. Uh, definitely. I mean, playoffs, you know, you running your, your bullpen out there, uh, you know, multiple innings and, you know, starters are going three, four innings in playoff games now. And so to have that bullpen and to, you know, be successful, I mean, uh, that's how you go on a run in the playoffs. So, James. Ryan, just how has this last week been for you? It seemed like it was a tight knit group of the bullpen and, uh, uh, up on the north side and uh, to have kind of this whirlwind of everyone getting traded and now coming over here and does having guys like Liam or, or Craig help that transition for you? Yeah, you know, the last couple of days have been kind of crazy. You know, it always is around this time. And uh, I'm going to miss those guys over there. We really did have a great, great group of guys and we had fun with it and got on a good roll there and um, enjoyed each other, man. It was a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, last couple of days have been a little crazy. I'd, I'd heard rumors, uh, you know, the day before the trade actually went down and then it didn't go down. So uh, just a whirlwind of emotions, really. And uh, couldn't have work, worked out any better, you know, across town, uh, you know, just got to make a little further drive to the stadium. But, you know, good place to be. I'm excited. i um, happy to be here. Ryan McGoffey. Yeah, Ryan, I was going to ask you about that transition. Is, does that help? I, I would think it would help immensely that you don't have to change, you know, condos, apartments, wherever you could, you could just go home like you always did, except the drive changes. How much does that help when you're making a transition midseason to a new team? Yeah, this is obviously the first time I've been traded and, and been a part of a new team during, uh, you know, midseason. So the comfort factor, obviously, that helps a lot, you know, just being able to stay in the same apartment and um, same city. You know, I love Chicago and, uh, you know, now that Kimbrough's coming over, you know, it's another familiar face and uh, played with Goodwin here. I played with Billy last year and obviously Liam in Toronto. So a couple, you know, familiar faces makes it, you know, a lot easier. Liam, when you guys both were named uh, relievers of the month earlier this year, Liam was very complimentary of, of his relationship with you. What What is your relationship and, and how much do you look forward to kind of having, you know, looking over and seeing a familiar face down there at the end? Yeah, you know, uh, we played together in AAA in Buffalo when we were with, you know, Toronto. And then, you know, he got called up. I got called up and we were in the same bullpen in, in Toronto. So uh, he reached out to me, you know, the the day that uh, I found out I got traded. And we kind of talked a little bit and said, you know, he talked about how much fun they're having here and, you know, how the, there's good vibes here in, in, in the White Sox locker room and just uh, a winning tradition right now. So, uh, you know, just like I said, having those familiar faces is going to be a lot easier. Lamon. Yeah, Ryan, just overall, what's been clicking for you? What have been some of the keys uh, to your success this season? Uh, you know, just uh, I, I talked about it before when I went on that good run, that good scoreless streak of, you know, I kind of figured some stuff out mechanically and, uh, you know, not overthrowing as much, you know, just kind of pitching instead of throwing. And 
um, you know, trusting my stuff and being able to locate, you know, I think I've done a lot better job of that this year than I have in the past. And, you know, I think that goes into a little bit of a mechanical change that I'd made. Um, and, and obviously, like I said, the, the not overthrowing, you know, especially in big situations in the past where, you know, you come into a game with, you know, bases loaded, run, runners on, whatever it may be, you kind of get that extra little adrenaline and, and you almost tense up and overthrow and your misses are so much bigger. And that always got me in trouble in the past. So um, it's something that I've really worked on this year. And, you know, it's, it's been night and day difference. Vinny? Ryan, uh, Liam has obviously uh, made his emotional personality uh, both on the mound and off the field known since he's been here. Uh, what do you remember about kind of the, the way he carried himself uh, back in the Toronto days? And, and what do you kind of notice when you watch him play pitch now? Yeah, uh, he wasn't throwing 100 miles an hour back then, so it's a little different. But, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, you see the fire in his eyes and, you know, you see how he competes out there and, and, and loves what he does, man. And, and that's all you can ask for. And, you know, I, I want to be a part of it too, obviously that it's, you know, punching out, you know, getting those outs in the late inning games is the most important. And, uh, you know, having that fire and just, you know, celebrating, celebrating with your team and, and passing the torch along to the next guy in the bullpen, you know, that's what it's all about. Last two questions for Ryan, James. It just seems like things have been, uh, you know, just looking at numbers, it's been really smooth since coming back from the uh, calf uh, injury uh, IL stint. Just how have you felt physically? And um, do, you, do you feel like you're kind of refreshed after that break? Yeah, and that's what it really was more than anything, just kind of a refresh, reset button. I, you know, I would pitched, uh, pitched a lot of, you know, games there in a row. And uh, I think it just kind of caught up to me a little bit. I'd had, I'd been battling a couple little aches and pains and, when you're throwing so well, you just you keep rolling with it no matter how you feel. And you just want to get back out there and pitch and pitch and pitch. And, you know, it just kind of caught up with me. And, you know, the calf's obviously a lot better. Um, you know, the, the little aches and pains I had have gone. You know, that 10 days was a big help. And um, now I just feel refreshed and, and can back, get back to competing, you know. Last question. Show raced out. Ryan, I talked to you yesterday about this, so I might as well go full circle. How was your commute today? <laughs> You're the one that asked about the, that I said about the scooter. <laughs> yeah, we had a good laugh about that article. <laughs> um, you know, drove to the field. There was a lot of traffic. Uh, I think Lollapalooza is going on right now, and, you know, there was a little bit of traffic, so it took a little bit longer to get to the field than expected, but – um, you know, my fiance and I came to the field today and she got to kind of, you know, walk around and, and see everything. So, um, it was, it's going to be fine. No scooter. <laughs> no scooter. <laughs> I can't imagine going down Lake Shore with a scooter. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> no problem. Thanks guys.